Alright, so now we go to our icon kitchen, which is made by UX manager Roman Nurek, who is working on Firebase at Google. Uh, I really can't thank him enough for his work. Now let's go to our icon kitchen. Now we need to implement our icon or actually design our icon. So I will use the clip or just to demonstrate how we can benefit from those tools. So you can make, for example, please this one, this one, icon, and I will add a padding of 35 or I would say 25 just to make it smaller. And now for the effect, I want to add drop shadow and look how it's. Or actually, I will make cast shadow because it will be more visible. So I will just click on cast shadow and visualize what happened. We have this shadow. Now, if we try the score, we have the shadow in the top uh, or overlay actually and if with a draw, we add drop shadow it might be not visible on this screen but it's, this drop shadow is just so small so that's basically the effect that we have here and if you want to change the color of the app icon itself you can do it and now that's red that's fine. and that's really bad so i'm just gonna turn it to any color like this one uh, keep it white all right so now that's for the foreground and if we talked about the background you can apply simple color you can apply gradient with a specific uh, specific angle and you can also apply an image so I'm just gonna see hey, let's just apply an image this one is gonna be image so now we have applied an image and it gives you the middle two-thirds of the image will be visible so that's kind of the mask layer we have which removes uh, the remaining or what's behind the scene um, so that's uh, the, what's visible is just the foreground all right so that's basically the image i would choose the gradient now it's and the gradient with the color are just similar so for the color let's make it something like uh, this black or actually, I will make it this this color. I think this is the primary color which I have inserted before. So there is a couple of text, texture. Those texture are in the back, and you can randomize it. You can change the color of this text, texture. Like if we try to add this line as blue, and that's not really nice. Let's try it with yellow. It's kind of better. Now if you can visualize, uh, randomize. You can randomize as you want until you find what's good. You can also add polka and randomize it. This one is another shape. You can add a triple effect. You can add artificial. Um, I don't know what is Arjali do, but that's how that's our effect. Those all our effects. So, or you can have none of them. You can also apply the same to the gradient. And uh, but I will just give it the color. And that's basically the tools. If you want to add an image, it's just gonna be simple. You just go there and add an image here. You can crop, you can scale based on the size, you can mask it so you can remove as uh, specific details of this uh, this um, this design and convert it to a single color. And uh, that's up to you. But if you convert it, you will need probably to add this color, for example, or maybe like this one. Uh, so I will not remove the color, and there is the same effect as uh, clip art and you can also add text and you choose the, the available fonts i think those are google fonts i'm not 100 percent sure so if you try this one and add it like high and i'm going to change the color to be white so it can be better and new metallic and now it's kind of work now i will just remove the padding and we have our Word. and you can add the drop of shadow you can drop cast shadow you can do almost anything you want so that's basically the tool now and what we're gonna do is we're gonna implement our app icon using this tool